ATP Flight School. Is it worth it? Of course. Bless for me. I've been dreaming about doing this since 2014. This is my career, my passion. My name's Tony. All right, guys. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you a uh, slideshow of my experience at ATP. Um, just a quick overview. Uh, I've been with ATP for six months. I've got roughly another month left, just in the final stage with multi-engine training. Um, I'm married. I have two kids. Um, this is the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life because of the separation, but the uh, required topics, I mean, the curriculum, it, it is fast-paced. It's not for everybody. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, with great sacrifice comes great reward. You know, pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. So, just got to keep going. So, anyways, without further ado, I apologize in advance if the slideshow and my voiceover is completely boring. But I'm going to try to answer some quick questions and just kind of show you what I've been up to. All right, guys. So, as you can see, ATP sends you a lot of books. Knowledge, invest in yourself, take the writtens before you start. I bought a motorcycle for ATP specifically as a cheap way of transportation. To motorcycle course, because safety first. And it's a huge bucket list of mine. <laughs> I've always wanted a motorcycle. Put it on a trailer, drove it from Idaho to the Payne, Seattle location. Ikeo Kilo Papa Alpha Echo. It's like holy grounds being at the Boeing assembly factory. It was pretty remarkable taxiing out, you know, every day and seeing these giant aircraft. Beautiful sunrises, remarkable scenery to fly every day. That 777X was number one, the first one, the brand new one. Just picture me next to a Cessna 150. Uh, that's where I got my private pilot in. Thought it was pretty cool. So having said that, I came from a six pack, you know, traditional GA uh, instrumentation. Going into the G1000 was quite a daunting task. ATP did give me um, resources, Martha and John. They were right next to me, hold my hand the whole way. Uh, we had four aircraft at the Payne location. Uh, the staff there, the, the flight instructors were fantastic. Starting on my instrument rating in uh, the Seattle area was great. I got some actual time, I loved it. Met some wonderful, wonderful friends. We would go out ice skating every once in a while, um, just to you know relax. Like you, I mean, you work hard, uh, but there wasn't like hardly any time to play hard, you know. So just uh, skating around. I'm a world class skater, as you can see, skating backwards and falling. But uh, yeah, beautiful people. There's one thing that it, I really enjoyed my time here so far. It's just meeting just people like-minded. Everyone wants to be professional. I worked my butt off for that instrument rating right there. There was my uh, examiner, who's a old traditional gentleman, quizzed me. It was a, probably the most stressful thing I've had to, had to do. And there's that triple seven one uh, when I got my instrument rating. All right, crew cross country. This is my favorite part about ATP. Uh, they allow you to do time building with a fellow student where you get to apply all your skills, your instrument rating. You can see there we flew over 2,000 nautical miles, me and my crew partner. Um, we had an absolute blast. Every single leg, we were constantly pushing each other. We were growing as pilots. Um, it was uh, definitely a wonderful experience. Uh, had a good time. Not everyone's experience is gonna be like that but take it for what it is. So after crew, I did get bogged down by weather, TAA, holidays, and low DPE availability. TAA, you may ask, is technically advanced aircraft, which is a new requirement per the FAA under the FARs, uh, as opposed to using 10 hours of complex air hours to apply for your commercial certificate. Now you can use 10 hours of TAA, which is essentially a um, aircraft it's one of the aircraft that we fly at ATP with autopilot. Um, so those factors uh, compounded and it, it basically stopped me dead in the tracks. I was delayed for about a month and a half. Um, I was paying for housing. Uh, as you can do the math on that, that adds up pretty quickly. 
A couple of phone calls later, and within a day or two, I was officially transferred down to Phoenix, and I started a week afterwards. Uh, I shipped my motorcycle down for a couple hundred bucks, and was finishing up my commercial certificate. Weather was warmer, <laughs> more agreeable, <laughs> you could say. Um, this is the Mesa Gateway hangar, uh, maintenance hangar. Over 150 students. Uh, this is a short little video uh, I recorded at the end of my TAA uh, night leg. Uh, I had a whole empty room full of more than 10 simulators. My biggest advice uh, for ATP is pick a warmer location or start uh, during the best time of the year so you can avoid weather delays. That's your biggest enemy during your, um, your training to become a professional pilot is weather. So within the same week of TAA and required maneuvers pr for prep for the commercial check ride, uh, got it scheduled. Again, it was in the same week, so uh, didn't sleep very well. I did it. I got my ticket. I was very, 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 very excited. I wanted more though. I didn't want to sit on my hands for two weeks in Phoenix for CFI Academy. So I transferred to the Denver location. Uh, it was either sit on my hands for two weeks or just keep the ball going, keep the inertia going. Just constantly push and challenge yourself. Figured if other people can do it, I could do it. Uh, there was a Lamborghini there. Dude, it's a sweet picture. Like, uh, it's goals. Cool. It was like a reminder. Like, hey, maybe one day when I'm a captain, I can buy one of those things. Who knows? Uh, but the legendary CFI Academy School. Uh, an ATP, there's a weird culture. There's a lot of rumors going around. They kick people out. No one can do it. Um... We were so relaxed. We, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. Here we are just touring the, uh, the control tower, getting a different perspective. You've got friends. You've got fellow pilots. Everyone wants the same thing. We would do 12, 15-hour days. Um, me and a buddy, here we are, the last guys at the school. What's behind the door? It's a plane! It's an airplane! more than one. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not just eight. But CFI Academy, three weeks. Just go hard as you can every single day. Uh, Doubt is the best salesman ever. He wakes up every day knocking on your door, telling you what you can't do. You got to push past it. You're your own worst enemy. So uh, stay engaged. About every day, half our group, half our class right there, we'd meet up and we'd get it done. And the day finally came. I got the ticket. <laughs> Boom. I was so excited. I'm still stuck. I can't believe I did it. Uh, 25 days. There we are. It's a small group of us. Awesome people. Uh, go Bruins. 25 days from commercial certificate to flight instructor certificate. Went back to Phoenix. There we are. And working on CFII, got that done in a week and a half. It's pretty simple, nothing crazy. Best check ride. I just passed my CFII. Time to move on to the next phase. Twin engine, baby. And there you go. You are all current. That just happened a couple of days ago, so this is the exact moment where I'm at. Special thanks goes to my wife for believing in me. I wouldn't have taken the first step if uh, she didn't pull my hand out of uh, out of the hole uh, and made me realize that you live once. Uh, I didn't want to work the rest of my life. I wanted to um, live a dream. So uh, I want to say I'm doing that now. To be continued. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions, I will do uh, more videos specifically my plan after the ATP. Uh, what my current plan is. Right now, it's just to finish the program, obviously. Take care. Talk to you soon.